Hi, this is Ceci, and on this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily sell personal growth with the help of Custom Cut and Customly. So, Custom Cut is a very well known print on demand provider. They have tons of amazing products. You can check their website at customcut.com and see everything that they have to offer. The printing quality is amazing. So, if you haven't tried them yet, just go to their website and click here on start selling and create an account with them. So once you have an account with Custom Cut, of course, you're going to need Customly to start selling personal products on your Shopify or your Etsy store. So you can go to the Shopify app store, easily find Customly there, and you will be taken to this page, which is our landing page, and you can sell Customly from here. I'm going to leave all the links in the comments below so you can easily access them. So this is a start menu of Customly. From here, you will be creating your personalized product. But before starting, something super important that you have to do is to connect both of your accounts, your custom cut account with your Customly account. So for this, what you're going to do is grab your API key from custom cut and paste it into Customly. You just need to go to settings, integration, find custom cut in the list and click enable integration. Scroll down and here it is. Here is where you're going to paste the API key. So now I'm going to my custom cut account. This is mine. So I'm going to setting store and here the API key tab. I just copy this, go back to customly and paste it here. Okay. So here you can also choose the shipping method type that you're going to use. And when you're ready, you just click save save. This button turns green, which means you're all good to go. So let's go back to the start menu. From here, if you click on create new product, you have access to all our amazing prints and demand players. In this case, of course, we are going to use custom guide. At Customly, you have two options. One is to use Customly's designs. Um, you have a complete collection of over 300 designs that you can easily apply to any product and start selling for free in your store. Or if you want to create your own designs, of course, you can do that as well. For this, just go to create a new design here. And this will take you to Customly's Design Studio. So here you have your white canvas and here you have tons of tools like text, image placeholder, street map, star map, dynamic images. Here you can upload your art, upload, for example, your clip art, put your text and add all the fields that you want your customers to be able to personalize. If you want to know more about our Customly Design Studio, in our YouTube channel, we have tons of live sessions, tons of webinars, where we show step-by-step step how to use our studio to create stunning design. So go and check them out. Okay, so going back to the start, for today's tutorial, I'm going to use custom design because it's easier and I just want to show you how powerful this tool is and how fast you can start selling personal products in your store if you're using a print-on-demand provider and custom design. So let's get to it. I'm going to start here at the custom cut. And the first product that I'm going to create is a t-shirt. Here you can find all custom cut catalog. They have tons of products. They are all amazing. The quality is great. So don't hesitate and come to check them out. For today, I'm going to pick a t-shirt. For example, this one. Here you will have to select all the variables that you want to make available. For example, this t-shirt comes in tons of colors. Um, I'm going to pick um, the white one. And let's see, I want some light colors. Yeah, um, sport red, maybe purple, yeah, okay. 
So I want to sell these colors. I want on these sizes and I'm ready to click next. From here, you can pick between your own designs in case you created them, or you can pick from customer design. I'm going to pick from customer, of course. And here you will see you can browse through all our designs. You have different categories to find them easier, or you even have a search bar, so you can find whatever you want. I have a very specific design in mind that I want to share, which is this one. I just love this one. It's for couples who have dogs and cats, and it's just lovely. So now what's happening is that Cosomaly is combining your product with the design that you pick and is creating a template. Also, bear in mind that your product will be published from here into your store. Either you're using Shopify or Etsy, you publish your product from Cosomini to your store. So here is our product. This is exactly how it will look like on your store. You have all the options, which is amazing. Check out all the flipper options already created for you. We have, of course, um, the colors of the t-shirt that we pick. Let's see which one we like best. And here you can just play around with the options. And a very important trick that I want to share with you is that from here, you can save an example as a product image. When you publish this into your store, by default, it will get published with the blank image that Custom Cut has. But if you play around here with the options, you select a nice combination of options. For example, let me just pick some options to show you. Check this out. This is really quick. Um, like this. And here we have the dogs. You have tons of reads. This is amazing. And you have them separate by name of the breed. So you can easily find the one that you want to add. I'm going to tackle a little bit here. Um, then this one, and then so as you see here, you play around with the options just like your customers will do. You can try that everything works correctly, and the magic of this is that you can show your clients um, an example of what they would be creating in your store, which is great. So save this as your product image. So as soon as your customer arrives to your product listing, they can get an immediate idea of what they could be buying, not just a white t-shirt, because they are seeing a full example of the design they could create, which is great for engaging. If you click here, you can see a preview of it. I love it. I'm going to save it just in case. Another thing that you can do is, for example, play around with different options and then save all these options and then upload more images into your product listing to have more options to show, not just one. So another thing that you can do from here, if you go to edit product visual, for example, is change the title. I can put like custom 100 for couples. And then you can, of course, change the description and add a price to it. You have here like tons of options because I selected many colors and many sizes. So you just take the time and put whatever price you need to all of them. When you're ready, you click Save Product. And then you are going to get this published in your store. So I hit Publish. And here it is. This is my store. This is a t-shirt. Here is the image that we selected as the main image. Here are the options for the color t-shirt. And here are all the personalized options for your customers to play around with. They can preview it and add to cart. They can also share it in their social media. And you're ready to start selling. So going to the back end of your store, if you go to products, 
I'm going to sort it out. Yeah, there. And you see how it appears here. It's already on your Shopify store. It has the photo, it has the title that we set up. Here you can change the description. You're gonna add more photos here, which is what I was saying that if you create multiple personalization options and save them in your computer, you can easily add more options here. You're gonna do collection, you can change the prices. Everything you normally do um, on your Shopify store, you can of course do it here because somebody will push this product and get it published into your into your Shopify store automatically, okay? So going back to Customly. Okay, so now I'm going to create another product super fast. So you can see that once you get the grab of it, it's super easy to create your product. Let's go again, create a new product. I pick custom card. This time I want to do a blanket. So I pick it here, it only, comes in one color, I click next, go to customly. Now I'm going to pick a price design because it's price month, so why not? I'm going to pick this one. So now we wait while the family is combining the product with the design and creating the template and pushing all this into the store to create the listing. So here we are, this is a product. It comes with different backgrounds. You can play around um, with the options again. In this case, we have um, a new clip art, which is from the back. It's really nice. I'm going to play with everything so I'm sure that everything works correctly. Yeah, amazing. So I'm going to save this as my product image. Again, you can preview, you can play around and save different Examples of how the product would look like. I'm going to save this one. And once you're ready, you can save it as a draft or you can publish it. I'm going to publish it into the store so you can see how in what two minutes I have another product published and ready to sell. Um, the last thing that I wanted to show you, here's the product. Excellent. The last thing that I wanted to show you is that once you publish your product or either you save it as a draft, because somebody will take you to the screen where you can access the template, okay? The template can be edited. So if you need to make adjustments to your design, you can totally can do it. When you open the template, you will have different steps. The first step is the production file setting. This is the printing file that Custom Cut will receive to fulfill and ship your order. So if you want to make any changes to the design, remember to do them both in the printing file and in your live review. So for example, if you want to delete this heart or if you want to add more backgrounds because you don't like these colors and you want to add a different background, you can do it from here. Whatever thing you edit here in the step one, then you're going to go to the step two, which is the previous setting. This is what is showing you your story. You can see the design over the blanket. And whatever changes you made, you're going to replicate them here. So if you added more backgrounds, you're going to make sure the new backgrounds are here as well. You always want these two things to match to have the perfect experience for your customers. You don't want to show them something and uh, then that they get something different, of course. So in the step three, which is the last one, you're going to see both things at the same time, the production file here on the left and the preview. So again, you can check all the options, make sure everything is aligned and everything is the same. When you're ready, you just click save and this will, will get um, updated in your store automatically, okay? So now you have two products in your store, your raises are selling. We connected the API key at the beginning, which is key. And so this means that as soon as I start selling this Sherpa blanket or the t-shirt, Custom Cut will receive the order information automatically. So you just need to worry about creating stunning products and then Custom Link Custom Cut will take care of everything. 
custom cut will receive the orders with all the information and they are going to fulfill it and ship it for you. So it's amazing. I hope you like this video. We have a lot of tutorials again and webinars in our YouTube channel. So if you need further help, don't hesitate to watch them or to reach us at support at See you next time with a new tutorial. Bye.